Hey everybody, Linda aka The Gamer Girl here and today we are going to be heading to Rio Hotel and Casino because we're going to go to Fanboy Expo. We're going to take off and see all the guests that are going to be there including some other people you know probably. Mortal Kombat, uh, The Office, and The Brady Bunch, and a whole bunch of others. So join me and we'll see what all the shenanigans we can figure out. So I'm at Fat Owl Boy Expo and oh my gosh, what the hell is that? What is that? No, not Spider-Man. No. Why? Don't go to Fat Boy Expo.
too, so we had a concept of, you know, pulling out shooters and, you know, doing our hits here at Battles with Sticks. And so I definitely had those moments. Uh, American History X, Pecker, so much more. Please help me welcome Edward Perla. Thanks. Woo! See, I'm hungry, but I don't want to learn how to be a man of accent. Do any of you guys know how to do that? Because stay in the Stay in this room. <laughs> edition of the Revenge record. And why am I mentioning Revenge? Because, I mean, I'm proud of all my Kiss years. We don't have to only talk about, you know, the Revenge era, but it's another Kiss anniversary, which is blowing my mind now. Hey, the Blue Aliens oh, and the uh, Tails. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's never the Blue Aliens movie. movie. We're never talking about the Blue Aliens. Any Airbender fans out there? Every kick is different, every jump is different, every punch is different, every facial expression is different because we are the real people. We're not CGI, we're not Adobe, we're not Photoshopped. It's our persona. If Jax is, a, if you look at it carefully, I mean, they're building the character. He's military. Well, I'm, I'm a vet. Okay, so I mean, well, it just fits me perfectly. <laughs> okay, so that's what it is. You know, Sonya comes in there, my blow kiss. <sighs> and then she's beautiful. You know, I mean, what are you I mean, like? Oh, damn. I mean, they mesmerize. I mean, so all of us brought something different to the game. Okay, and it was fun because no one told us really what to do. We just throw a kick. We throw a kick. Yeah, it was more of that, like, creative input. Um, when when I was on set, it was more of like John and Ed asking, you know, how would you kick or what would you do if someone was coming at you? And I didn't, and, and I've spoken about this before, I didn't necessarily have the same training as, you know, like Catalin, who is incredible. And my, my background was more Taekwondo and I felt more comfortable, leg heavy and like strong. Um, and then, you know, working with the wig and having that, freedom to yeah really be a part of the character's development which allowed for this franchise to grow and for those characters to really become iconic because then the fan the gamer is coming in they pick the character that they can be most relatable to and or find that outlet from um you know it's it's a really wonderful gift i think that you know i got at least from being on set all those years ago not knowing really how it was going to turn around it's been really cool to see and I remember um, while we were shooting the game, it was a lot of, okay, so what else can we do? Yeah. Um, I can do a front tuck. Okay, cool, do that. Wait a minute, computer just crashed. <laughs> we gotta <laughs> yeah, and, and the wonderful thing about Mortal Kombat is we have so many of these characters and we're constantly being pitted against each other. Well, so what happens if you put you know, Melina with uh, uh, Kitana. So then what happens? And so the game is constantly changing. And that's a wonderful thing about Mortal Kombat. To that on tour, you know, night after night, what, what was that like? Um, it was grueling. <laughs> but they, they prepared us pretty well. We trained for three months in the Catskill Mountains, and those were 12 hour days. I remember hallucinating when I would go to bed. Um, it, I was so tired, but I was so jacked up from, you know, what we were about to do. I was so excited to go on tour, and that is when I realized how big Mortal Kombat was, because we would finish a show, I'd walk out, and these kids would mob me, 
you know, trying to get my autograph, and I would stand there because I knew this was my only time I was ever going to be famous. <laughs> this Mortal Kombat thing is going to fade away. So I stood there and signed every single autograph, every single show. And sometimes we'd have three shows a day. Yeah. It depended on what city. If it was a big city, we'd have three shows a day. So That's insane. Yeah, Your was, cardio must have been... It, it was on point, yes. <laughs> Well, as we wrap up Fanboy Expo, it was a blast. I had a good time. I hope you had a great time following me around all this beautiful stuff that was anime, nerdy in general. And if you're new, hit the sub button and I'll catch you all next video. Bye, everybody. Linda the Gamer Girl. She's here, she's playing games. Linda the Gamer Girl. She's here, she's playing games too.